So we're passing polluted water through a filter here, a series of filter, and each filter removes three quarters or 75 percent of the remaining impurities from the water. So suppose that we have 20 million particles to begin with. How much pollution will you have after four passes through the filter? So there's two ways to think about this. One way is sort of intuitively. So imagine that we have 20 million, uh, ba uh little impurities, ori sorry, particles originally, and we pass through our first filter. How much will we have left? Well, we'll have, uh, we're gonna remove 75 percent of the impurities, so we're gonna have our original, let's see, we're gonna have our original 20 million, uh, particles minus 75 percent of those, or in other words, we're gonna have 25 percent of the 20 million particles remaining. Uh, now, we could certainly calculate that out to be 5 million particles, uh, but that's not really, uh, actually gonna help us as much here as, as leaving it that, le in that form. So now we pass through our second filter. How much are we gonna have left? Well, we're gonna have what we had before, this amount, uh, minus three quarters of it. In other words, we're gonna keep 25 percent of what we had before. So we're gonna have 25 percent of that 25 percent, or in other words, we're gonna have 25 percent squared times 20, uh, and again, we could figure out what that is. It turns out to be about 1.25, um, but again, not so important. Then we could go through a third pass, and now we're gonna have 25 percent of what we had here, eh, times 20. And so we end up with 25 percent cubed times 20, uh, and then we could pass through our fourth filter, and you can probably guess that we're gonna end up with 0.25 to the fourth times 20 left over. Now, this is sort of an intuitive, basic percentage approach to this problem, and it works pretty darn well. Uh, it just becomes a little unruly if we, let's say, wanted to pass through 100 filters. And that's where using the, the exponential equation comes in handy. So remember, the basic exponential equation said, that our output, let's say y, uh, would be a times 1 plus r to the t, or b to the t, but it's 1 plus our growth rate. In this case, the 20 million particles is our initial amount, or our starting amount, and 75 percent is related to the growth rate. In this case, we're decreasing or removing 75 percent each time, so our growth rate is going to be negative 0.75, and so we end up with an equation that looks like 20 million, and I'm not gonna bother writing the, the million there, but, uh, we'll just remember that our units are in millions. Uh, 1 minus 0.75, right, because our growth rate's negative to the t. And in this case, t is not representing time, but t is representing number of filters, number of filter passes. Uh, each time we pass through a filter, it removes 75 percent of the, of the, uh, contaminants. So to answer our question here, what we really need to do is take this and evaluate it for four passes, which you'll notice is 20 times 0.25 to the fourth, which is exactly the same thing we had come up with in our more, uh, sort of intuitive approach. Uh, and that comes out, in this particular case, that comes out to be about 0.078125. And again, that's million, uh, particles, because our units were in millions.